Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing my top five favorite D Funko Pops. So let's get started. So guys, down there I actually have Duke from Secret Life of Pets. This character is actually really cool and also really odd at the same time. I loved him in the movie and just the way he looks is really cool because he's got kind of like a circular body instead and he's got a hole in him kind of like he's a bath toy. But other than that, he looks really cool and I like the way his nose sits too, how it's kind of poking out like that. You can see it there. And then even just the way he sits on the ground, he looks way different than a normal character. Like if you see a normal one here, I'll pull one off that isn't a D Funko Pop. But you can see, like, he's much shorter, looks more like a dog, like he could be your companion and your best friend. But honestly, guys, this one uh, is, like, one of my favorite ones. And I also like the way the D looks on his actual collar there. I just think it looks really amazing. Now, guys, for my next one, I have my favorite out of the bunch, Donald J. Trump. This one is my, no, I'm gonna do the really crappy Donald Trump impression. Anyways, guys, this one is a really cool one, and I think this one's really detailed. This one got kind of expensive after he actually became the president of the United States. Now, I know I'm gonna get some controversy for putting him in, but I really only did have five D Funko Pops, so I had to put him in it. But I like the way his hand's poking out like that, and it kind of looks like, you know, he's like, you know, doing like that thing that I do at the end of my videos. As well as, he also has a vote Trump 2016 little logo on him right there. I think that looks really cool. He's got the lines on him like he actually does on his face. You can see him on the side here and his wrinkles under his eyes. This one just looks really cool in general and I like how orange they made his hair as well as the tie on him is way longer than it should be, of course, because it's Trump. But yeah, anyways, guys, this one's really cool all in all, and I love this character. Here, guys, is actually Drift from Transformers. This character looks really awesome. I also have Bumblebee from this line, no other ones. But this character was like the mystery character from this line, and people weren't supposed to know what it was, because I, th I believe he was a secret character in the movie, like you didn't know who he was in the trailers and everything. But this one looks really cool. I like the way he's kind of got like a samurai helmet on. And then also on the back here, you can see he's got some plating that is like wheels and hubcaps and stuff like that, you know, because he is a car. And just, hold on, it doesn't focus very well. Do, 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 let it go. Thank you very much. Now this character is awesome, and I love the blue accents on him. It just makes him look even cooler. As well as I like how it kind of looks like he's wearing armor, and he's got these little bit of red down here. As well as his feet aren't normal feet. You know, normally how they're kind of like circular, but these ones just look more like... Like, you know, like robot feet, or like, you know, transformer feet. Now, this one here, guys, for my fourth pop is actually Dr. Peter Venkman. I believe this one was in my top five doctors video. You guys can go check that one out, the little eye in the corner. This was a cool, that was a really cool one actually to film because I got to look at all the doctors that I had. I actually had more than you think, like Dr. Facilier. Well, anyways, guys, I won't tell you all of them just because that way you can go watch the video for yourself. But this one, um, let's just get back to this one. This one looks really cool. This one was the one that I needed to finish my set, and I've actually been collecting these ones for about two years now, and I've never been able to find this one. And then randomly at my Walmart, they had them. Hold on, let me just fix myself here. I'm falling over. Um, and then at my Walmart, they actually had this one, and I was surprised, so I had to get it, of course. It was actually in a pop hunt a while ago, too. And um, this one looks really cool. I love the pack on the back, especially with all the different tubes. And I know I mentioned this one in the other video, but he's even got like a bit of a tube coming from the back of him to the front where his gun is, which looks really cool. As well as I like his little name tag on him. I don't know if you can see it there in this lighting. Yeah, you can kind of see it there, Vankman. It's really detailed and really small writing. And his hair looks great, just like Bill Murray's does in the movie. And that's why I love this character. Now guys, last but not least, I actually have Dory from Finding Dory. Now this one was the re-released one, not the one from Finding Nemo. I know they made this one again for the new movie. It's the same character, just a different box, but I believe the first one is worth a bit more. But this character is awesome, and I love the way she actually looks as a fish. And this is voiced by Ellen, of course. And Dory looks funny from the front just because of how thin she is. But I like how big the eyes are, and I like the blue and the yellow because she is, you know, like this type of fish. I can't remember what type of fish she actually is. Put it down in the comment section below if you guys know what type of fish Dory is. And then also I like her fins and how clean the paint is because there are some really straight lines and nice edges on her. Um, too bad the, I don't know if this is on purpose, but the back is a different blue color. And then her fin is a thinner one, and I like the little bit of a black stripe on top here, as well as just the different fins in general. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Bailey's barking in the background. Bailey, come on! I was just about done. This has been another episode of Top Pops, guys. Thanks for watching. I covered Dory.